Do you know how to make drop down values in one column depend on values selected in another column? For example, what I have done here is that I have made the specialization field dependent on the qualification field. What that means is that when I select a particular value in the qualification field, I get the corresponding specializations in the specialization field. Selecting MBA gives me these specializations and when I select any other qualification like BTEC, I get a different value in the specialization field. Similarly, in Excel, you will come across situations where you will encounter such scenarios where you values in one column depend on values in another column. For example, list of cities that depend on a selected country or list of flavors that depend on ice cream. So in this video, we will learn how to create dynamic or dependent drop down list in Excel based on a custom formula using the indirect function and name it ranges. First things first, creating a drop down list in Microsoft Excel is very easy. What you have to do is to select your cell, then click on data tab, go to data validation, and then under the validation criteria, select list. And then in the sources, uh, this section, you can either type your source manually and separate them by commas, or you can select a particular range. I will select my range here. I will click on this icon here and then select my range and then I will click on OK. So I have this drop down icon here and for the qualification field I can now select the values from the drop down list. I will copy this drag this formula to other cells also. Now for other cells also I can select a particular qualification. So far so good. Now let us go a step further and learn to create dynamic drop down lists where values in one column depend on values selected in another column. For example, I have, I have this uh, format here, serial number, name of the applicant, qualification and specialization. So I also have some additional data here. For MBA, a student can have specialization in marketing, finance, IT and HR. Similarly, for BTEC, a student can have specialization in civil, electrical, mechanical, and electronics. Now, what I want is that when I select MBA here, in the specialization field, I should get these values in the drop-down list. Similarly, when I select BTEC here, for specialization field, I should get these values in the specialization field as a drop-down list. To do so, I have to use a custom formula based on indirect function and name manager. So let us start by assigning the range names to each of these three lists. What I have to do is I will select this whole range, then I will go to formulas tab, then I will click on create from selection, then I will check mark the top row only. I will click on OK. What this does is that it assigns names to each of these three ranges and the name is the top most row. So if I go to the name box, you can see that there is one uh, named range called BTEC. When I click on this, so this is the range named BTEC. Again, I go to the name box, I click on MBA and this is the range named MBA. Similarly, this is computers. So having assigned the range names to each of these three lists, I will click on one cell in the specialization field. Then I will click on the data tab, then data validation. Then again, I will in the validation criteria, I will select list. Then in the source, I will use the indirect function. I will press equal to indirect. Then I will give reference to this cell C2 here. Then I will click on OK. Now I will drag this formula to other cells also. Now you can see that when I click on this drop down icon for the MBA, for qualification MBA, I see these values marketing, finance, IT, HR. Similarly, for computers in the drop down box, drop down icon here, I see cloud computing, data science, machine learning. For BTEC, I see civil, electrical, mechanical, electronics. So this is how you can create dynamic drop down lists in Microsoft Excel. What the indirect function essentially does here is that it gets the text value from cell C2 here 
and then converts it into a reference to the range with the same name. Then it gets the list of values from that range as a drop down list. While creating drop down lists in Microsoft Excel, you have to take care of certain things. The first thing you will make sure is that when assigning name ranges, this top row doesn't contain spaces. For example, if instead of B tech, there is a space between B tech, B space tech, this won't work because range names in Excel don't contain spaces. So this is one thing you will make sure. Another thing which you will make sure is that in the data validation, in the source field, the reference to your primary cell is without these dollar signs. It should be a relative reference. Okay, these dollar signs shouldn't be there because otherwise when you drag the formula to other cells, it won't work. It will be a static cell reference. It won't work. So keep it a dynamic this cell reference. So these are the two things which you will make sure when creating dependent drop down lists in Microsoft Excel. So this is how you can create dependent drop down lists or dynamic drop down lists in Microsoft Excel. I hope this video was helpful. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Keep supporting, subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching.